This week on Safari Hunter's Journal, it's the first African field test of the Umarex Hammer 50 caliber air gun. Yes, you heard correctly, a 50 caliber air gun on some of Africa's most tenacious game. You won't want to miss this. On the back of the Land Cruiser for perhaps the 10,000th time, heading out into the bush to spot and stalk. But this time would be different. The slow, casual walk with professional hunter Jacques Spalmer would be exponentially more challenging. We are in pursuit with one of the most innovative and modern sporting weapons in existence today as we are hunting the African Veld with an air gun. But not just any air gun. This is the first iteration of the Umarex Hammer, a 50 caliber behemoth that theoretically would knock down almost any beast in the world. But we're not there just yet. On this, the initial tryout of the hammer, we are going to control the shot and distance as much as possible. So to the hide we go. A nice herd of blue wildebeest came in. However common and plain, the blue wildebeest is one of Africa's most tenacious species. Not the kind of test we want to start with. In fact, we really were not certain if the hammer could ethically harvest a blue. We decided to pass. Now the Gemsbuck, that's another story. The Gemsbuck is no doubt tough, with bulls exceeding 400 pounds. But this old gaunt cow was, well, old and gaunt, and not likely to make it through the coming dry season. The Gemsbuck it was. The shot looked good, but how could one know for certain? It's an air gun after all. Felt like a good hit. Ah, it took like it. I could see yeah, it. Hear it. Left shoulder, opposite shoulder, picking up when it's running. So it looks good. Give it some time, and then we'll go have a look. All right. The track was excruciating. No blood at all, but I trusted Jacques' ability on the spore. What seemed like forever, but really within 100 meters, the hopes and dreams of a lot of researchers, engineers, managers, and one TV host were realized in the form of a piled up gemsbuck under a camel thorn tree. Well, Jacques, my friend, 
This is a first. Yes, sir. <laughs> and I don't think it's going to be a last. Uh, the Umarex hammer, our first African species, and this is a very interesting old gemsba. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. When they came into the water, um, we saw a nice bull, but uh, when this one came in, we decided to take her. You can see she's really old, all the bones sticking out. She probably would not have made another another season in, no. out here. It's, it's the teeth were worn, we saw. Teeth worn, you can see the, the secondary growth in the bottom yeah. of the horns is about three inches, two to three inches, which indicates that this cow probably, or this games box probably, 10 to 12 years old. Uh, perfect specimen to take out. Absolutely, absolutely. And how we did it is just so exciting because this is the first time we've used the hammer and we got an, a pass-through shot on this cow. Yes, definitely. Very impressed. When she took off, I could see her front yeah. left leg was, was hurt and that's where the bullet exit. Um, Surprisingly enough, she didn't go very far and uh, very impressed with the caliber and, and also the rifle. It's a prototype. We've got some things to work out on it, but uh, this is going to be a reasonably priced air rifle that you can hunt big game with. And uh, Lord willing, we're going to hunt some really large game down the road with this. <laughs> Definitely. I'm looking forward to it. And uh, once again, thank you for trusting us for, for doing this with us and uh, with Sarapa and myself. It's always fun having you guys in camp. and. Hopefully we can get one or two more down during this trip. Well, we'll look forward to it. Thanks, Jacques. Thank you, sir. To stay up to date on the latest outdoor and Second Amendment news and to take part in our social media contest giveaways, follow us at Umarex Air Guns and at Steve Scott TV. Stand up with God, you want to down, guys. Okay, man. Bye-bye.